Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games <laughs> and the bounciest Atari. Yes. Uh, oh, webcam's not open. Yeah, it is. Good, good, good. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure we can see the Atari in all his uh, glory. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all the Ataris. All, all the, Ataris, the Ataris. All one of yes. them. <laughs> so we have a whole bunch of games tonight. I saw. There's four. Including some After Dark after the four games. Okay. Very nice. Um, so tons and tons of games, yeah. including an exclusive final build of Space Pac-Man. Cool. Courtesy cool. of Game Select slash Ricardo Pym. Excellent. Uh, fun game. Have you played Space Pac-Man? Is that when they fall from the sky? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Pac-Man mm -hmm. in space mm -hmm. with no maze. It's it's really really fun yeah yeah uh we're also going to be playing dr a bunch of uh kind of smaller games i wanted to throw in mm -hmm. uh drop ball roulette okay uh lira the ten wreck and tank maze and then after that you guys should stick around because we're going to be no don't play with that <laughs> what is he doing uh we're going to be playing for some high scores on aardvark and Stratavox 2600, so it should be very fun. Mm -hmm. He's a kitten. He's a kitten. No, he Wait, is, we... but it should be Atari Cam because it's all the Ataris and the, the fluffy Atari, too. That's right. Oh. Yeah. You got a point. I wasn't even yeah. thinking of that. I was yeah, just thinking of his cam. name. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. We'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll set that up at mm -hmm. some point. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Of uh, a lot of them are tuned in mm -hmm. every time, mm -hmm. including Eight Bit Swami, Elna for Arms, Guard, Coder, Atari Age, Big Dog, Susie BR, Poco, Buck Owens, Chance Don Mayo, Charles Wheel, and Chai Five Dino, Dan ABC, uh, Daryl Nineteen Seventy, Rexall. Dr. Moo Cows, Amy Dan, Fox Mulder, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Roger Rapper, Johnny WC, Carl G. Carco, Lauren TDZ, Marco Yannis, Mark Facing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Michael Town, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zona, Mr. Fix, Mike, Nathan Strum, Nina Media, Op Bokel, <coughs> Orin Deco, Packer VG, Koag, R. Anchowitz, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Ricardo Pim, Rod Castler, S6 Sweet, Smitty B. Socrates, Spartan, Spice for S. Ramirez, the Toy Pig, D Train, Welsh Man, Tiki Dan, KTM Events, Track MD, Victor M, and X Ken X. Oh my he's goodness. kind of fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he, he's cord chewing again. He's cord chewing. Oh, you're a bad kid. He's not allowed to do that. <laughs> if you want to get your name yes. on the side, just uh, hit subscribe. It's free if you have Amazon yes. Prime. And if you don't, well, then you have to pay for it. But it is free if you have Amazon Prime. Or you can just follow us and you'll see that fluffy cat. Yes. So fluffy. He's not actually that fluffy. But he is very soft. Yes. Uh, yes. And you are right. There are blue socks. They are James's. And on top of that, they're pitfall what? Pitfall socks. socks. They're like, show off. Show off the pitfall socks. Gotta like, get a little closer there. They're like super crazy pitfall socks. No, I'm not sure. So cool. Like the coloring is very weird. Blue. Like, yeah. Like yellow sky. And, and he's got a yellow, just a different yellow shirt. Mm -hmm. I don't know who would choose those colors, but yeah. these are Activision socks. Yes. Um... Ataris. I call Ataris. them Ataris. Ataris. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say Ataris. Ataris sounds right, but I don't yeah. know. There's a band called the Ataris. Atari. The Atari. Right? The Ataris. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So there's a I plural. Right. Yeah. There's an example of a plurals. Yeah. Hot socks. <laughs> oh, they're pretty warm. Uh, so the poll <laughs> is working this week. So we're going to do the poll. Okay. Uh, so the poll is related to our new computer that we're getting, mm. kind of, tangentially. Mm -hmm. um, it's about what your favorite new games are. So new PC games, or it could be console games. But we're buying uh, a PC mm. um, because we're not going to be buying consoles anymore. Maybe a Nintendo if they keep with little cards. But... The Xbox and PlayStation are pretty much computers in a box. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Like very specific computers in a yeah. box that do specific things. So we're like, Duh. I'm like, I'm done. Um, so we're going to go to just PC and download games because those are getting rid of the drives anyway. So That's very true. you're just paying for a very locked in yeah. specific game system. Yeah, and at least with the PCs, you might be able to keep, keep something alive to keep keep them running right? yeah. yeah and they do so much other things <laughs> as well That's true. and they do it better yeah. and faster yeah. but they're a lot more expensive yeah anyway here's the poll what uh is your favorite modern gaming genre mm, um so not arcade not arcade not old school modern so those you know mm. the playstation and and uh switch and xbox mm -hmm. games that kind of stuff there should and be PC sort of games. a caveat there do you even play them but... well if you don't then 
don't yeah, answer. Yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. answer. Yeah. Or you can answer other. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so I've got some options here yeah. and other uh, sandbox games. That's like it's open, open world. world. You can build things. Yeah. You know, Minecraft style. Yeah. Um, you can pick more than one. Just put a space in between. Don't yeah. do its example with commas. That doesn't work. That commas don't work. Yeah. It's space. It's very odd. Uh, real time strategy number mm -hmm. two. Shooters number three. Four RPG role playing. Five simulation mm -hmm. sports. Six puzzlers and party games. Uh, seven survival and horror, eight platformer, nine other. I would pick mostly platformer. Um, and then it would be probably, sh well, it's not sh the shooters in that sense. Yeah. Um, RPGs, I guess. What would yours be? I mean, I like RPGs. Yeah. I like sandbox games too. Yeah. Um, like Skyrim type games. I'm very. Yeah, I that's find, sandbox. It's uh, open world. I'm kind more of than sandbox. I, yeah. What that's what, RPG, role playing game. But what what qualifies as sandbox then? You can build the like world. Like Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. RPGs. I like you know strategy games like like Civ, Civ games. Yeah. And I do like puzzle games a lot That's true. as well. So kind of those three. And there's, and there's puzzle in lots of games. Like it's sprinkled yeah. throughout. I yeah, mean, it's yeah, not, yeah. not a straight puzzle game. I'm but... very... Um, I'm very interested in Elden Ring from what I've seen of it. Because mm. that's right smack dab in the genre of things I like. Yeah. Which I have not tried to play yet. But that would be one for, for Is that a first person shooter? No, no, it's an RPG. RPG, sorry. Yeah, but yeah. it seems very Skyrim-like. Um, yeah. And I like Zelda on the Switch. I really like Zelda. I like lots of different I like types. a lot of modern games, as well as the arcade games we play. And Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I guess Civ would be real-time strategy real -time as well. Strategy. Well, not real-time. It's turn-based. Turn-based strategy, yeah, but it's turn -based strategy. strategy. Yeah, turn-based strategy. Yeah. Um, procedurally, Captain Classic, procedurally generated strategy games. Oh, I also, that's Civ. Yeah. Because it's random. I also generally enjoy, I play Hearthstone a lot. I like card base, like the turn, the card base kind of strategy. Be... I don't know what that what falls under. Uh, and party I games? just kind of randomly fell into that. Kind, I've never kind played. Kind of a party game. It's a card game. <sighs> kind of. I don't know. You're you playing with multiple people. It's... But I've never, ever played Warcraft. No, Ultima and it, it 7 comes from, doesn't well, count as modern anymore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the card game from Warcraft, I think. But I've never, ever played Warcraft, oh, so yeah. I don't know. So speaking um, of our new computer, we oh, got yeah, our we got first part for it. <laughs> we got this tiny but heavy computer. It's very uh, heavy. It's computer, very nice. uh, Keyboard. It's very clicky. Listen to that. And I wanted to... Sp oh, you don't need to hold it up anymore. <laughs> Nice That's really loud for them. <laughs> Sorry. I, ah! You don't need to hold things up anymore. Um, it's like, what's it called? A dragon? Dragon keyboard? Yeah, I got it because it was uh, small and yes. compact. Yeah. Yes. Yes, more. <laughs> I'll just type for like 20 gonna, minutes. Now we're going to type yeah. on our new keyboard. <laughs> uh, okay. And we also have some mail. Yes. And this mail's actually from... No, you can get... That's taken away from you. <laughs> this mail is from uh, a fellow Atari Age person who is selling stuff on Atari Age. And nice. it's like, oh, that had some good prices and it's stuff that I needed. Mm. Well, I don't need it, mm. but uh, stuff that I want. Horizon Zero Dawn. Love that game. New one's coming it's an out. RP RPG, I guess. It's new one's like out. an open world. I know. I know the new one's out. So I know. I know. get to play it on PC. <gasps> Once we get Soon. a PC. It'll take a little while, though, I think. Um, yeah. Video cards are still... Video cards are scarce. Yeah. Because um, I need more games to play, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So we've got Wizard of... Things to do. Nope. Smells like smell nothing. Smelling it's like it. if it smells of smoke, I'm like, yeah. oh. That's the after dark. That's a sniffing and describing old carts that arrive and uh, the ASMR. <laughs> Wizard of War for the 5200. Oh, Very nice. Cool. 5200, nice. Yeah. Um, like some 7800 games here. Ah. Uh, Choplifter. Okay. These are all I, ones I didn't have. These are kind of holes in it in my <laughs> collection here. Uh, Kratika. 
I pronounce it karatika because it's karate ka, right? Karatika? Wouldn't that make sense? How karatika? would you say it in um, Japanese? Kar- karateka. Karateka? Well, it's, it's, it's always like constant ka-ra-teka. vowel. Karateka. Yeah, constant vowel, constant but vowel. But is it re- karateka, karateka or teka? It's probably tika. I don't karateka. know. But however you pronounce that, there's a good smells like smoke and a bad smells like smoke. <laughs> yes. Or how about that smell of mm. um, oh. stores that have old stuff in them, like secondhand well, mold. stores. Mold. There's the mold, mold. smell. Uh, fight night. Nice. Never played that. Uh, cracked for the 7800. Those are both 7800s. Carrot taker. Got it. <laughs> Carrot taker? Karateka. Karateka. Karatika. 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 I know it's pro- Karatika. I know, but I know it's pro- Karatika. Karatika. Karata. That sounds a little Karatika. too much like erotica, but sure. Yeah. Karatika. <laughs> and some Coleco. Turbo yeah. for Coleco. Okay. That's the one that Champ Games ported to the 2600. Mm-hmm. Uh, Qbert for... Yeah. Oh, it's your favorite. <laughs> for Coleco and Jumpman Jr. for Coleco. Very nice. Very Love nice. this game. So, and that's the end of the box. Scotchy, scotchy, scotch, scotch. Yes. Scotchy, scotch. <laughs> Japanese te, be, karateka. Karateka. Mm. So that's how it would be probably pronounced. We, we did take Japanese lessons lessons that long much. time ago. It was very hard. It was so hard and, and it was so up. demanding that we just, we went to a few lessons and we realized we wouldn't be able to keep so up with it. Because so. we went to uh, Japan for our honeymoon. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to know a little bit. It a did, little bit. It, it helped actually helped a the, little. Yeah, for reading signs and things. Yeah. yeah. Or like like just being, having polite sayings, you know, things to say. <laughs> or understanding thank you and hello yeah. and the basics. Yeah. 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 But anyway. Um, so I've got a kind of a video of a game that I thought was interesting. This is not made, you guys probably saw this, but this game was not made on the 2600. Where's my thing? Oh, no, it's working. Um, but it's somebody that made it to look like a 2600. Mm. Um, but with a little bit of flicker, this could easily be made on the 2600. So mm. Castlevania, somebody made this. Uh, I don't know about this title screen. That's a little bit complex there. You'd have to have some flickering there. And the music, uh, it wouldn't sound that good. Um, but you could do nice. this. Look at this, look at this. Like the guy, easy. Those trees oh. are pitfall trees. Nice, pitfall trees. Um, that could trees. be um, done with play field. Um, those candles staggered a little bit more could be done. The windows are easy. Mm-hmm. They'd have to be a little bit chunkier down the center. Um, those dogs, easy. Like, sometimes there's more than <gasps> two things on the same line. You just have to have flicker when that happens. Mm. But this person has done a number of 2600-like games. Nice. Um, they do a really good mock-up to keep it kind of faithful to what it looks like. Like, those two are, can do without flicker because they're spaced apart. You can do a duplicate close. So, um, and some people did attempt some Castlevania, mm-hmm. the start of doing some, and they did some screens of Castlevania, um, like a bunch of the screens, but nobody made a playable one. There's one where a guy could jump, but not move left and right on a screen. Like, that water is doable. Like, everything on this screen is doable. The mm-hmm. windows just need to be a little bit chunkier. Chunkier windows. Chunkier windows. Chunk up those windows. Yeah, so. Nice. I thought that was uh, really cool looking and maybe nice. ins- inspire yeah. somebody. Yeah, just couldn't have the set candles on the same row. row. Or yeah. flicker them. They yeah. are candles. Yeah. <laughs> of course, candle candle holders don't flicker, mm-hmm. but just kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unholy. It does have some unholy vibes. That Definite unholy. True. I was just thinking that too. Yeah. Um. And speaking of conversion, oh, Leo C. Santi says, I have done something like that. Oh, Ooh. oh let's take a look at this. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. Oh. Leo, you're... <laughs> well, they can't see it yet. Uh, they will, 
in a second. Look at that. Nice. Oh, he's... Very nice. How did you get those without flicker? Oh, they probably are. They're just compressed down. Smack it. Smack those. Smack those fire. Yeah. Smack it. <laughs> See, that's, that's, cool. that's a good start, that right? That is very cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes. And Holy is kind of our Castlevania version in a way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. Just a concept. But no, it looks really good. And Holy's like three quarter view almost. Castlevania is yes, a very it is side three... view. Yeah. 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 What do you want? So in a uh, yeah. thread on man, hello, oh cat on bud. Atari age, thank you. Um, yeah, Pac-Man Plus was re replying to somebody, uh, and the person said, "I don't think there's a Super Mario Bar Brothers port for the 7800." Mm. And uh, Bob said, "Not yet, anyway. Huh. That's something I've had in my to-do list. Oh, interesting. For a long time, I have the source code. I'm guessing for the Nintendo version. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, and I've already converted it to compile with DASM. Wow, I did this a few years ago. So now it's a matter of converting the tile sprite handler to work in the 7800. Once I can, once I can get to this, I will probably use 320B mode, so more it more closely yeah, matches yeah, the resolution yeah, of an NES yeah, yeah, version. Yeah, Although there would be yeah. less." Colors. Thank you for following, Mark. Markel, AFC. Excellent, Mark, Mark. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for following. Yes. Um, <laughs> although there will be less colors and frantic face. So Ugh. that is very exciting mm -hmm. and a potential cease and desist. But uh, just keep it a different name, completely different name, mm. and you should be pretty safe-ish. And maybe don't sell it. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that would be something very cool to look forward to. Um, and that is all the news. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Super Mario Twins. Yeah. Uh, just the word Mario might be the problem. <laughs> um, so tonight we have the exclusive final build of Space Pac-Man. Speaking of IPs, <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, and this is a completely different concept than any other Pac-Man game. Like he's not copying any Pac-Man game. It's just using familiar characters mm. um, and putting them in a different uh, situation. This is by Game Select um, and Ricardo Pim. We did have the um, exclusive debut of this game a while back, but now it is for sale, so you can buy this game. So if you like what you see tonight you can pick it up as well. Um, so let's, let me show you the sales page for this. It gets a little bit more graphics. Uh, that's too big. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. There we are. <laughs> Pac-Man. Space Pac-Man. Ah. Following my friend Ricardo Pim. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you for tuning for, in. For tuning in. So there is the <clears throat> sales page for it. Let me uh, paste that in and you guys can pick to, oh. ah, destroying. No, don't hurt the cards. Cartridges. Oh, reminds me. That's over there too. Ah, uh, there we go. It's a twenty six hundred <laughs> night. Let's put up Superior that. Superior D'Angelo Cousins. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Bump Puzzle Games. Perfect. That works well. <laughs> Um, so you can pick that up here. Oh, I was going to translate this to English. Pac-Man in space. Let me translate this to English. Oh, kitty. Translate. Not from Finnish. Finnish? What? How did you end up with Finnish? Uh, I was translating something in Finnish at one mm. point. I can't remember. Product does not, not exist. exist. Oh, well, go. so much for that. <laughs> so much for that is right. Uh, I guess they've changed the yes, site cord or something. So the physical version went on sale March 21st, 2022. So a couple days ago, you can download the demo uh, from the February 5th post of Game Select's Facebook page. And you can play the demo up to when you first defeat the big boss. Mm -hmm. And then the demo ends. So you get a pretty much a full taste of the game. Uh, let me post that into the chat so you guys can download that if you like. And I can go to that actually. Post, there we go. So how about, 
Uh, what does it say? How about an attempt to defeat the Ghostmaster? Nice. Grab your demo here and post your score, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. That didn't translate well. In the comments. So, awesome, awesome graphics in the game and artwork mm -hmm. that they've been using for promotion and also mm -hmm. in the manual. I'm going to show you just a couple glimpses at the manual. I don't want to give away the whole thing, of course. Um, but it is gorgeous. Uh, Ricardo Pam, the demo is in Plus Cart store too. Oh, perfect. So yeah. if you have a Plus Cart, you can <laughs> <Excuse> sneeze. <me. laughs> um, Sorry, cat. Uh, you can uh, access it right away. I feel like that Pac-Man is like the shape of my hair right now. Like I just need to go <laughs> <laughs> space Pac-Man. Uh oh. Yeah. Did you see it with the teeth? <laughs> oh no no no. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, uh, oh yeah, very similar there hair. We go. Just need to take a photo of this face, like <laughs> <laughs> throw some throw some glasses on there. That's right. Leading uh, candidate for best Atari packaging so far, Arena Foot says yes. The Brazilians good. pull out all the stops for packaging. Oh yeah, yeah. They're <laughs> so good at packaging. Mm -hmm. So let's. Can I go full screen with this? I don't know. Can you view full screen? I don't know. Zoom. It's just an Adobe, right? You just need Full to get rid of all the bars. You have a lot of bars size. on that on that screen. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Control L. Just Control as long as L. I remember how to get out. <laughs> how to get out. That's always a problem. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Very nice. So there's the front of the manual. Very nice. Um, Pac-Man's looking pretty happy. He's got some headphones on. It's an Atari Moon. Nice. <laughs> there's some, uh, you know, meteorites going by, mm -hmm. and two of the ghosts. Manual the in. <laughs> this is the Brazilian can, manual. Can kind of figure out what it means. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And look at that. Nice. Canal zero page homebrew. Oh, nice. I'm guessing that's channel. Zero page homebrew channel. Uh, I know that from French, so yeah. Canal? Is yeah. it the same? Oh, yes, because yeah. all their television channels are like Canal 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, looks gorgeous. Look at that. They're very nice. Um, beautiful, beautiful mm. layout. But that's all I'm going to show you because... You have to buy the game for the rest of it. That's right. Yes. That's right. Don't want to give away too much. Um, but it's beautiful instructions yeah. and, I'm, and the actual um, box looks great as well. Mm. Um, oh, really nice and colorful. Canal is channel. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so let's fire it up. I think we're ready. And I can go through the instructions mm -hmm. while you play. Um, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. At left. Ready. Remind me now. About? You're eating pellets on the screen, or? The pellets keep your health up. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to and remember. And then there's a yellow pellet, which changes the ghosts. But eat yes. the pellets on the screen. Then there's a bonus screen. Yes. Where, oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry. There we go. There we I go. didn't miss anything. No, just, no. This is the first screen. Um, code Ricardo Pim. Assembly Wilson Gier, Gier, Gutierrez. Mm -hmm. Gutierrez. Oh, didn't read the rest. You can pause it later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so great uh, title screen. Really fun with the ghost chasing him. No score. I'm going to have to put a title score, a uh, mm -hmm. high score in. Okay. Bon bonjour, Endo. <laughs> bonjour. Who's here from France, from Paris. Oh, welcome. Yes. Go for it. Aww. So there I, you I love are. It. I love it. There's Pac-Man, Mr. Pac-Man, and Mrs. Pac-Man. Mrs. or Ms. Well, it's, it's Ms. in the arcade, so we'll stick to Ms. And you're like, yum, yum, yum. Eating some pellets at your house. Yum, yum, yum. Oh god! Oh no! You're kidnapped! It was a space pellet! <laughs> oh my! I so, don't remember this part! <laughs> so perfect. you have to break out by pressing down. There you go. Go down, down, down. Keep pressing down. Because your health is going down. Is it? Yep. Oh my goodness. And all four of them are after you, and oh, now no. you don't have much health because you took it kind of slow. Oh, up. I didn't realize Going up to go. and down. So avoid the ghosts and eat the pellets. To get health, you're already down in health. You think you're gonna die? Oh, you got some health. I love, I love the 
the the falling uh, Pac-Man. He's like burning up in the atmosphere. Ah! Avoid no. that. Ah! Avoid that. Ah! Avoid that. Go get that pellet. You have such low health. Oh. Oh, don't even touch them. Like, not even I close. know, I know. Don't don't be risky. I get it. I <laughs> yeah, get it. be very risk-averse in this game. It's better to not get a pellet than to touch a ghost. It's oh, that yeah. bad, touching a ghost. Oh, get that. Now get all four, quick as you can. No, you're not going to get it. Don't, don't bother. They're going to turn back. Don't get that last guy. <laughs> Just don't get that last guy. You've been playing this, haven't yeah. you? <laughs> I'm not for a little while, but... Ah! Oh. Come on! Don't touch them. Let me get you. Don't touch them. <gasps> so you made it to 550 kilometers. Okay. Kilometers. Yeah. Oh. This is not the U.S. Remember this. <laughs> That's right. Ah! ah! Be very risk averse. I know, I know. Like extremely. I know. I played this before. <laughs> Space Pac-Man Coach James. Yeah, I know. Oh, also, there is a teleport. If you're in a big jam, ah. you can press the button. Oh. Ah. But it does use up your energy. So you have to be in a bad spot. Okay. You have to have energy. Ah. Avoid this guy when he turns into the enemy. Avoid him badly. Get oh, those pellets still. I know, I know. They're just not coming at the right. Ah! And there's going to be yellow pellet, and then you attack him. Ah! <laughs> no, no. There, get him, but not too long. Okay, run away. Whoa. It's like not that easy. No, it's it's a challenge. He's really, really tight. <laughs> He's a big oh guy. Oh my goodness. He's a big guy. Come on, you pellets. Come close to me. Ah, come on. One health left. Oh, oh no. Back to the spaceship. Oh no. That was awesome. Danny should just say James STF. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I will read the instructions. Okay, <laughs> lol, that, that James, Mr. Backseat Driver. <laughs> You're getting trolled, James. I am. <laughs> Miles in the English version. Uh, oh, try to kiss her, Miss Pac-Man. Oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, teleporting. I need to do that, but you lose up. You you use up. I would avoid it. Saying. Okay. Unless you really have to, because gotcha. it's better than getting hit by a ghost. Okay, are you going to read through it now? Yes, I am. Instead of telling you what to do, backseat uh, pack manning. Go kiss her. Go kiss her. Oh. oh! The Galaxian space ghosts are hostile alien race that, centuries after destroying their own planet, live in a nomadic way. Traveling from system to system, studying and invading peaceful planets oh, no. in order to make their new home, enslave its inhabitants, and consume all their resources before setting off on a new invasion. Traveling through the P386 system, their computers detect a small planet orbiting a red dwarf star, indicating that it meets all the requirements for a possible invasion. Mm. Despite being hostile, their methods of approach are cautious and always start with an abduction of a spe specimen for study purposes. That's mm. you. Oh, you have almost no health. I know. I, I push backwards against the uh, teleporter. Oh, no. And uh, that's you not must, good. You, you do not want submit. to do that. You must submit. S submit to the aliens. Abide the dudabides. Yes. Uh, this little place is called Puckland, or the planet of Puckmans. Spherical, plump, and greedy creatures that live by eating to survive. Ah, Don't we all eat to survive? Mm -hmm. You, Mr. Pac-Man, live happily with your wife when you're suddenly kidnapped by space ghosts. Despite being peaceful, Pac-Man is not easy. <laughs> uh, when still in orbit around his planet, he manages to escape the ship, plunging into the infinity of space. Oh, eat all those. You'll get your health back. Oh, you're doing pretty good now. Yay. Nom nom nom. Eat all the things. Oh, I think you're at maximum. You're good, but you get points. Uh, introduction. You start the game controlling Mr. Pac-Man in his home, immersed in an interactive cutscene that is a mix of animation where the player just watches or performs small tasks to continue. Sad cat. He's chewing stuff. What is he doing? It's something he can chew. <laughs> oh, is it a spring? No, it's a strap. 
than, you know, one of those plastic Velcro? straps. Velcro straps? No, that's binding a bunch of um, cardboard. Oh, okay. Ah! After being abducted, your first mission is to find a way to escape the Galaxia's ship by consuming a, as little energy as possible. Upon escaping, you'll find yourself falling back home and surrounded by space ghosts. This is where the game really starts. Uh, your mission is to stay alive by feeding space energy or eating space energy during the fall. Fight the space ghosts and reach the ground to rescue Ms. Pac-Man. You have no additional lives. Your only life is represented by a horizontal bar just above the scoreboard. You consume as much energy as you can by me by eating. Don't so don't stop eating. At the end of the energy represents your death and it's game over. Oh, you have two times score. Ah, Not anymore. Hi, kittens. Uh, use the left joystick to move oh, freely no. in space, dodging space ghosts without touching them. This will make coordinated moves to try uh, to surround you. In more advanced stages, they will attack, attack you intensively. No, you don't need to go there. It's nothing for cats there. So yeah, there is. I missed the yellow one. He was oh, right on no. top of it. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Can't do much. Ah! ah! Unfortunate. It's almost dead. He's pink now. It's got to be bleeding. Yeah. yeah, he's bleeding. He's bleeding out, just like you. Just like me. Gotta stop. Get the stop the blinkies. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, now you're in a bad spot. Oh, you get a little bit from the. Uh, oh, you did it. I think. Oh, God. Did you? I don't know. Or was this it over? I think you got it. I like the ghosts. Are they an homage to the infamous 2600 version of Pac-Man? Maybe. Yes, very similar. They do have, they do have like, a proboscis or whatever on, on top of their heads. A little antennae. Antennae. Yeah. They, they definitely are alien space ghosts. Oh yeah, well they're in space. And their ship is, um, uh, nice. Galaxian 500. How, Not how much many, more to go. How many kilometers do I need to hit? Uh, zero to make it back down to Earth. Uh, oh, or back no, down it was to at 250, land. wasn't it? 250, that now it's 500? It's not going down, it's going up. No, it's 550. Up. 550, then 500. It's Thank going you. down. Oh, I see. Okay, I falling. thought it was 250. Oh. You're falling down. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. <gasps> ah! Oh. That was bad timing. Oh, no. No. It's, a, it's emergency time. Oh, not so emergency. Just on the border. Doesn't take long. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh! oh boo. Back to the invader ship. Uh, you have do you one been more? talking? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, if a space ghost touches you, you won't die instantly, but you'll lose energy quickly. Try to escape or use your teleporter power. Mm. You'll eventually be able to teleport. Keep playing. I am. Oh. I can't play right away. So remember, press up all the way. Yeah, not down. No, no, that doesn't no. Work. don't fight it. Up, up, up! You're wasting energy. I just went the wrong way. There you go. See, tons of energy. Uh, you'll eventually be able to temporarily attack and disable a space ghost. To do this, you must eat a yellow space energy. At that point, they will desperately f flee. Be quick! The power of the yellow space energy does not last long. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got twenty-two thousand this time. Not bad. Way better than six. Oh yeah. Uh, try to devour all four space ghosts in a single attack to release red space energy. In return, this action will make them extremely angry. Uh, the red space energy has the power to temporarily paralyze the space ghosts. In this short period of time, they can't hurt you. Take this moment to eat as much as you can. What are you doing, cat? Excuse me, kitty. <laughs> Bad cat. He knows. He does. He's looking for things to annoy us. It's because he hasn't had his uh, treat. Nobody's given him a treat. Oh, I think you might be able to get him. I got I got all four last time. Nice. It was pretty good. Now they're angry. And then they then it goes crazy, and then you get all the woo. You're full of energy anyway. Full but of the energy. Energy. Uh, Canadian tenor says this will sell a ton of copies. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, 
It's, it's really fun. It's super cute. I, I love anything that has, a, you know, cut scenes, you know, like a yes. little bit of uh, a little bit of story in there. I see and 550. And there's, diff ah! there's a bunch of different screens, even though they all take place kind of in space, right? There's this, then there's when they turn blue. Yeah. There's also the beam that goes across the, the screen. The beam that goes across. Then there's the power up. The mono, mono ghost. Stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there's the big enemy ghost. Mm -hmm. Lots of different things going on. Uh, do, 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 do. The space ghosts will eventually band together, joining forces to form a mega ghost, chase you, and definitely kill you. You'll only be able to defeat the Mega Ghost when you manage to eat the yellow space energy. In possession of this power, attack relentlessly. But remember, the power is short-lived. Mm -hmm. It will take several attacking rounds to defeat him. Here's your opportunity. So he starts off yellow. Okay, well. Now he's flashing it. yellow and red. Ah, okay. And then he turns red, right? Yeah. You definitely want to pull him to the corners. Yes. Give yourself. Oh, That's okay. That was I don't just care. bad luck. I just care about the yellow. True. You're pretty full. No. Oh, you got it. Oh my god. Whoa. I know the timing. That, yeah. Yeah, it's not that. It's. <sighs> nope. One more round, you'll get him. Yeah. Oh, kittens. The complaints from the cat. Oh, it's time. No, it's two rounds usually. At uh, three. Oh nice. no, that worked. Okay. The well, last that was time your I third, took wasn't it, it. Was it the third? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It was. Yeah. Two times. Huh? It takes more on higher levels, if I remember correctly. What is that flashing gray? I think it's just like a warning, or. I don't know. How Ooh, nope. It. Oh, Ooh. you bastard! Hole is closed. Nice. I'm just gonna switch quickly over to it before it disappears. Okay. We will forget. Uh, so platformer with 31.6 percent one. Mm. Uh, then tied. Uh, oh. For 15.8 percent. Ah. Shooters, <gasps> RPG, and Come simulation. On. Then puzzler at 10. And then survival. And other at five. Mm. There you go. RPG. Ugh. Oh boy. They're they're chasing, going after me a little bit more now. No, yeah, they they ramp up. I think when you get close to them, they they the red they guy do. goes after you. They the other do. ones are a bit a bit more passive. Uh, not that passive. I find they they start going after you more and more. Definitely, their behavior does change. Ugh. Ooh. What was that? Danger. It's a hidden ghost. It's a lightning ghost. Maybe, maybe. No. No, don't do it. Oh! You are brave. But it's good because you need it. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yum, 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 yum. Build up your health. I need it. What is that song from? What is that song from? 450. 450. Very good. Kick oh my god, the system. pink guy is really Oh, going now after the yellow me. guy too. Oh, somebody knows what that song's from. It's what video game it's from. Okay, continuing on. Uh, the Mega Ghost will come back several times during the game, and sometimes it may appear momentarily without warning. Oh boy. Oh, that was a Ooh. long one. Yeah. It's getting harder. It is getting harder. Oh, it's Mega Ghost time. Um, don't forget that the Space Ghost spaceship is still after you, and sporadically it will launch the tractor beam to try to abduct you. If it touches you, it'll suck you up and steal your energy. Keep your distance. So that's the tractor beam. A bit more time there, but not much. Oh, I just, you have to it's be It's dangerous. Careful. Especially when you have low health. You have about medium health. But it's not too bad. It's mega pink ghost. Mega pink. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, ho, ho. 
I, I, no, I, I, uh, I was, yeah. Mm. Yeah, sometimes. So cute. Bomberman! That's what it is, I'm, yeah. Hi, cat. I have a cat butt in my head. Get it? Oh, no! Oh, no! no. You, you could tell when he stops chasing you, it's coming out. Yeah, he goes towards it, doesn't he? Uh, oh, God. I don't know about towards it. Oh, my God. It's it's all timing, like... Ooh, it is. It's really bad when they're just... They come out somewhere where you're not, oh, or God. you just... Oh, <gasps> got me. Okay, my yeah. turn. Excellent! 39. Even better score. Mm. You went to 450? Made it to 450. Matcha. I think so. Okay, I have to show you where it, where it is before you mm -hmm. start. Where do you stop? Uh, talking? There, the match. The match starts at a height of 600 kilometers in your planet's orbit. Every 50 kilometers of fall, an alert will show you your height. The game is over when you get safely ashore to save Ms. Pac-Man. Game elements. White space energy are white bars that cross the screen from bottom to top throughout the game. That was a good opportunity to jump with teleport. Oh, I always forget. Yeah, I haven't used the teleport at all. Okay. I'm just scared so, yeah, with the energy. Right and left. Do, yeah. do, do, do. So cute. He is cute. And the fire <gasps> is so good. The, the, you mean his head? Like his, his head is. But it, it's so him awesome. falling, right? He's falling. Yeah. It's not really he's, fire. It's it's, it's become a it's meteor. His he's movement. burning up in the he's atmosphere. He's burning up in the atmosphere. I love it. Every 50k of fall, an alert will show your height. The game is over when you get safely ashore. Game elements. White space energy are white bars that cross the screen from bottom to top throughout the game. It is Mr. Pac-Man's main form of food and of keeping the energy bar always full. Uh, yellow space energy is a yellow bar that eventually crosses the screen from the bottom up during the game. She is also a way of food f uh, from Mr. Pac-Man, giving a good charge to the energy bar. Yeah. Red space energy is a red bar that crosses the screen from the bottom to the top. It is released when all four ghosts are deactivated. Also another way of food um, for Miss Pac-Man, considerably carrying uh, the energy bar, so adding a lot more. Tractor Beam is a light launched by the Space Ghost spaceship used to kidnap you from your planet and also during gameplay. Teleport is a power of the Puckmans that allows you to transport Mr. Pac-Man directly to the right and left ends of the screen opposite the side he is on when he triggers it. The teleport consumes energy, so use it sparingly. Pressing the button on the joystick to activate the teleport. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Big space. Big ghost time. Mm -hmm. Space ghost. Zord is a mega ghost. Zord. Zord. That's Zord on the screen right now. Nice. We have a name for Ugh. we have a name for it now. I love the face, by the way. The face is great. Um Formed by the union of four Galaxians, much stronger and deadlier. Once in action, it won't give up until you kill until it kill until you kill Mr. Pac-Man. Clyde is the yellow. He is the least aggressive of the four space ghosts. His movements are not the fastest. Mm. Pinky is the pink Galaxian, the only girl in the group, but do not make a mistake, she is the most aggressive of them all. Uh, she is always in attack mode, and her movements are very <laughs> fast in all directions. Always in attack mode. That's correct. Um, Inky is the blue-colored Galaxian, much more agile when flying vertically. Okay. Hmm. Blinky is the green Galaxian, this one much more agile when flying horizontally. So, test your limits by finishing the game with a higher score. Some of your actions during the game are worth points. See the table below. Action points. Every white energy bar that appears on the screen is 10 points. Eating a white ener a space energy bar is 50. Eating a space ghost is 250. Eating a yellow space energy bar is 500. Eating a red space energy bar is 750. Cont um... Continuously attacking the Mega Ghost is 15 points. Killing all, kill the Mega Ghost is a thousand points. 
Uh, the game has a bonus system so that the points earned with each action can be multiplied up to three times. Oh, three. For that time, you must remain unharmed by attacks from space ghosts. Mm, it's just about number amount of time. Yeah. Okay. The longer the time without suffering damage, the greater the possibility of multiplying the points gained. A sign of two times or three times will appear in the lower left corner, indicating how many times your points will be multiplied. After some time without taking damage, the two times sign will appear. Um, your earned points will, will be multiplied by two. If you still remain unattacked for a while longer, your points will be multiplied by three. I don't think I've seen three I so far. I haven't seen three. I haven't gotten <laughs> Must three. Must be a while. I've only gotten two. Anytime you take any damage, the bonus system resets. Makes sense. Oh, it came out of nowhere. Cheaty. Yeah. Cheaty Zorg. Zorg? Zorg? Yeah. Canadian Zorg? Tanner asks, when will the English version be shipping? I sent an early, uh, and um, Ricardo Plim says, maybe in one to or two weeks, we have to send to the graphics store to print the manual. Oh, okay. Says, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's excellent. Super cute. Love this game. Very cute. Yeah. Tips. At the beginning of the game, while ah. you are being abducted by the spaceship's tractor beam, don't resist and don't try to escape. Don't resist. You will lose less energy and start the game with more vigor. Uh, <laughs> what if, instead of not resisting, speed up the kidnapping? Good question. Mm. Uh, pay attention to this tip. It is the most important of all, and your survival depends on Press. it. Press. Ah, the button's not doing anything. <laughs> didn't do Eating anything. in space is not easy. Energy bars can pass by you without being able to eat them. Try to align them towards your mouth and do not make any sudden or quick movements while trying to eat. Yeah, it's very specific. You have to kind of huddle, huddle, hover, in, over it. hover on top of it, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's not just touching it. No, no, just touching it doesn't always. Yeah, it has been a very you know, end up specific you spot. Consuming it, right? Yeah. Get him! 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 Um. Each space ghost makes the same movement, sometimes attacking Pac-Man, sometimes in the opposite direction. Oh, God. Um, some are faster when flying horizontally, others move slower when flying vertically. Try to memorize the behavior of each one and your chances will get better. In later stages, the ghosts start to attack you if you approach them. Some of them attack you if you get too close, others just need to smell you. <laughs> Uh, move more safely between them, also memorizing this behavior, yeah. Pink one. Very aggressive. Oh, Very yeah. aggressive. Very. <laughs> I like Canadian tenor. Take my money! <laughs> oh, yeah. It's fun! Uh, yeah, it is fun. It's, so it's really, fun. really cute. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Using teleport when you are surrounded or under attack can save your life. Your instinct will always be to try to escape, so don't forget this powerful resource. Which I always forget to do. Uh, yep. The power given by the yellow space energy is active for a very short time and is not always possible to disable all four galaxians. No. Nope. But guess what? Teleporting can often help you shorten your path. Uh, uh, Mega Ghost is much faster moving horizontally than moving up and down through space. Use this weakness to your advantage and make vertical moves close to him for easier escape. Hmm. Good to know. The tractor beam stays active during gameplay for only a few seconds, long enough to not hit the edges of the screen. Go to there. Yep. The energy released by the tractor beam disables the Puckman's teleportation. So don't oh. wait for this power to escape. Mm, oh. You can't teleport. While the tractor beam's on? Uh, I guess or for some time afterwards, in. I guess. Yeah. Oh, that's what I would that's what why I couldn't do it last time. Mm. I was trying to press a button, it was doing nothing. So it was part nice. of the game. I'm going to die. Very Ah! Oh. If you are feeling that the game is too easy, try to play with your Atari left difficulty switch in position A, which is expert. What do we have right now? Uh, easy mode. Do we really? <laughs> yep. 4,400. I made it to 400? 350? Mm. Uh, your turn again. Oh, you beat me. Yeah. Do, do. Where did you go? Oh, difficulty. Da, 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 I got da. almost to the end, actually. Uh, you pretty much did. Just tells you how to hold your joystick. Like, <laughs> like all the other early um, manuals for this for, for Atari, it's like, 
put the button in the top left corner because mm. nobody had used a joystick at that point. They're like, what is this thing? At, at most, they had been in the arcade where they were fixed, right, to the arcade cabinet. You don't need to maneuver a joystick in a certain direction. Cutscenes are amazing. <laughs> very, very cute. Canadian Tesser Tender yeah. says, I'm super excited to buy this. We, we, we gather that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is good. Ah! Oh, oh! Sometimes it's hard to avoid them yeah. when the teleporter comes. Is the Starfield the same TIA glitch that Cosmic Arc uses? It does look very similar. The Cosmic Arc one was a lot more... seemed a lot more random than this one. This one, like... Oh, I think you might be able to get him. Uh, yes! Nice. Nom nom nom. Get your power. It almost gives you almost full power at that point anyway. Yeah, it's about points. Because it, the red pella gives you a lot of energy. That's how you get the points, my friend. I think Phaser Cat Game says, I typically put, typically put all that how to use a controller text in my manuals just for fun. I think most manuals include that just for fun now, but it's in almost every homebrew. How to use it's your so controller? It's so funny. I, oh. oh, you're surrounded. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, how to use your controller, how to hold it upright in the right position. The flicker is used so well in this game. Oh. For the main uh, character. I think the ghosts are all at 15 hertz. So um, they all flash 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you are at 30, maybe? Uh, or maybe the fire, like the red fire, is one out of three frames, and then the yellow is every two frames. Not sure. I think I did analyze it last time. Flicker works a lot better against a black background. Yeah, that would be true. Because you're not fighting another color. I'm running. Here comes the yellow. Oh. A lot left on the table there. It's, it's very hard. It's it hard is. to judge sometimes. Two frames for yellow, two frames for red. Okay, so it is 50-50. The yellow looks, looks so strong. Oh, you didn't lose much, did you? No, I don't think so. Ugh. You'll get it. Just stand properly. Nice. Got him. If you, would, <laughs> if you would have released this after uh, Atari's 2600 Pac-Man destroyed demand for the Atari 2600, you would have saved the console. Mm -hmm. Don't bite. This poor cat is starving. Oh, he is. Would somebody please donate some of your of your bits to this poor starving gray cat? He would be so appreciative. It only takes 5,000 bits. <laughs> 5,000 bits to, to feed to the hungry feed cat? this hungry gray cat that you see on your screen before you. Oh, you're at times three. Nice. Get some good points right now. Is everybody out of bits? <gasps> ah, there we go. Good it's timing. Treat ah. time. It's treat time. Uh, yes, the crying has begun. Oh, he knows what it means. And nobody's getting the option. Uh, we're just doing these now because the catnip is way too messy. Yeah, <laughs> he basically made... Oh, good say, kitty. Say thank you to Ground Trooper. Did ground... Thank you, Ground Trooper. He did ring it, so I'll give it to you. He did ring it, yeah. yeah. It's good kitty. Thank you for feeding this <gasps> no, starving gray cat. Pink guy's aggressive. Oh, very aggressive. Ding it again. Ding it for Ground Trooper. Ding it! Ding it! There you go. Ground Trooper says, you're welcome, Atari. Ding it! Good kitty! Don't cry, lol. 
Miss the treat time. Might be in an hour. Yeah, it's already passed. He he had a whole hour where he didn't get any treats. What? Yeah, there was a, no. a whole treat time that was missed. <gasps> no. Poor, Poor kitty. Atari pants. Oh, you're kicking ass this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By almost, that you mean eating your high score. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <gasps> no! Oh, lost your two times. I know. Oh, that's mean. Yep. There you go. That's it. Come here. That's oh. the treat time. It's over. Poor kitty. Barbaric. I'm gonna wash my hands. Terrible. <sighs> ah! I blame you for that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it doesn't use that much. It does no. use a little bit, but not oh, much. Got one. So it's definitely worth Laryl pressing if you're in here. Oh, thank dark. you, Nathan Strom, for resubscribing 29 months. Did you get him? Oh! oh! He hammered Rough. on you. Thank you for resubscribing. Yay! Whoa, that was close. Oh, oh, you'll get him this time. Nice, yeah. 55,000! Nice. Kicking ass. Good stuff. So, ah, you got me, the ghost of what, the ghost. <laughs> that's what happened last time, and then I died shortly. Oh, after. really? Oh, no. Yep. So I have some info, some changes since the last time we played. I think I fixed two little problems that people detected in the last show uh, that you played. The score bug on the title screen, which deforms the first digit. This is actually a bug of Atari Basic, itself that occurs with some versions of the TIA chip that I have. Uh, to solve that, I drastically reduced the font size to minimize the problem. So it's a nice tiny font, which is which looks really good. <sighs> oh my god, he ate up all the stuff that you gained. That's okay. The other was a little jitter, barely noticeable, but still there in some situations. Oh, what number was that? 400. Oh, okay. It's been there. Uh, I gave the code a good optimization to also minimize the problem. I can't say it's 100% solved, but if it does, it's very imperceptible. I haven't seen any. Uh, also, the last show, people noticed that uh, what could have been a red tongue that appeared a few times as Pac-Man opened his mouth to eat. Oh, that's funny. Uh, it wasn't actually intentional. It was caused by switching yellow and red sprites to give the fire effect. I like the idea, so in the final version I tried to make some adjustments to make this accidental effect more noticeable. So it looked like a little red tongue when it was in his mouth, and I thought I it was actually that. cool. I thought it was cool too. So he made it more so. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. Good plan. You no, know, it used up your energy, but it, you would have probably died if you didn't do it. Ooh, you're gonna go for it? She's yeah. going for it! Run! Run! Oh my god, don't take your hand off. Perfect go, timing. That's exactly time. what you needed. Now stay away from the ghosts. Oh, I know, wake, no, I know. They'll wake up. They last, do. Last time you... They wake up before the actual like bonus level is over, too. Yeah. So it's kind of tricky. Yeah. Whoa, they're all after you now. 350! Get there. When we forget to fill our Jack Russell Terrier's water, we say, man, your humans suck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bad humans. Ah! Oh. Ooh, it's not good. Look, it's not looking good. I know, it's good. harder. It's harder. It gets harder. It gets really They get hard. a little bit more uh, agitated by your presence. Yeah, you gotta as stay time goes on. far away from them. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Ooh, you need something. Oh. No! Don't go near oh, them! Oh, no! I tried to teleport. That was a bad idea. 74? 895? Very, very good. Not bad. Okay, you gotta read it out because I'm gonna play it again. What, what am I reading? Uh, there. I made some. Okay. I made some adjustments to the game's difficulty to make it more balanced and distributed throughout the gameplay until the end of the game where Miss Pac-Man is saved. 
My intention was that kids could enjoy the game too, making it easy at first for a while and really hard in the later parts. That's the best way. So dads yes. and kids could have fun. <laughs> I also made an adjustment to the time the player has to eat the four ghosts after eating the yellow energy bar. The intention is that the time will be enough to eat the four ghosts only if they are grouped in some side of the screen. Unless the player uses the teleport power when they are far from each other. This case, you will see the time is enough. Take note of this tip for gameplay. Mm. Uh, some cosmetic adjustments and bug fixes, perhaps only noticeable to the programmer, were, were made. <laughs> and finally, I've added an Easter egg to be revealed in the future, which, like Asteroids Attack, will allow infinite continues with the penalty of restarting the score. The Asteroid Attack's Easter egg is, like, yeah. really hard to accidentally mm. do. Like, impossible. That way, finishing the game it. will be possible for those who have are having difficulty with it. So Right. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. It is nice. a challenging game, and you made it, like, not even halfway. Me? Yeah. You made it to oh, 350 out yeah. of 600. Oh, I got it. Oh, my God. I Good thought job. I wasn't going to get it. Uh, the key to score is getting that pink thing, for sure. For this? sure. Yes. yes. And not getting really touched. Really just ramp up your score. You gotta, you gotta do that. Nathan Strem says, Missed the pool earlier. I have gone with other driving games. Other... Yeah, a lot of people mentioning driving games. Driving? Oh. Yeah. I mean, people buy That's huge cool. rigs people love driving for their games. driving games. Yeah, like, we, I, it's never been oh, my favorite genre of game. Once but... in a while, I don't mind it. Depends on the game, but yeah. mo I haven't played any modern driving games. I haven't games. played modern driving games either. I mean, I mean, we can now. Like, our well, system will yeah, be able to just eventually. dominate. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're getting oh. a 3080. Yeah. Um, and... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, nope, made it out. Uh, 3080 NVIDIA card. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Zord! Here comes Zord. Zord. Mega, mega ghost. Yeah. Oh, you got two times. Excellent. Just don't get hit. Whatever you do. I'll try and stay in the top corners. Yep. You can teleport. You could. I think you still keep your bonus. There Use you go. energy, though. down here and then we go over here his vertical is slower than his, his horizontal yeah so if so. you want to out maneuver him you want to go down yeah and then straight, but the across straight, straight is, over go faster ah nathan storm i've been obsessing over gran turismo 7 but no steering wheel or any of that okay hmm. i can see how a steering wheel would be very helpful in yeah. those games it'd be f it, it adds an element of fun to them yeah Oh, no one said dancing games. Those aren't sets. <laughs> what? Are all but dead. <laughs> what? No, they are not. They're still just dance. People still play those games. Um, there's, I, I mean, rhythm the, games. Rhythm. No, rhythm games are That's definitely dance. a cool genre. Yep. But they feel a little arcadey and and old fashioned in a way. A lot of the rhythm games, but they're super fun. Like um, dance fight. I don't know that one. Dance fight. <laughs> or or you're just mashing two uh, genres together. Dance fight. Dance ah, fight. I couldn't get it. The ghost was on top of the yellow power pellet mm -hmm. all the way up. I yeah. guess fitness games are are, are genre yeah. too. Not yeah. as popular as they were. I mean, Nintendo seems to like to create fitness games. Oh my gosh, the fluff. Oh my gosh, the fluff You're creating cat. fluff? <sighs> a little bit. Incidentally, when I'm... Come on, yellow. Ugh. Ha! <laughs> Nathan Strem. Don't have the space for a wheel and pedal. I'd have to move my 2600 over. Not gonna happen. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh god. Where's my yellow? Getting three times here. Three times. Move my yellow. Ugh. Yeah, that's how you get the score. Just want to give it to you. No, it doesn't. <gasps> Look oh, at that. Oh no, they do that it's on cheating. purpose. Cheaty, cheaty. It was like I had three times. Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, oh, just, just. Of course, if you're at the top end of. <gasps> nice. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Give me those. If you get it just in time, it'll turn and you'll hurt, get hurt a little bit. That's though. true. But worth it, because you get this. Or potentially get this. Yum. Very yum. Yum yum. Ow! 
450 kilometers Yay! and down. Yay! Your score is nowhere near mine, though. <laughs> just, just pointing. Just saying. Just, just pointing it out. Have. Just casually pointing that My out. My 74,895. 74, yeah, yeah. Not that I'm not competitive. Bragging. No. No. <laughs> it's getting the pinks. Oh, oh come on! Mean. That was mean. Right on top of me. It's like the, the ghost too. It just mm -hmm. like yeah, I'll just put put it right on top. Okay, okay come down here. <laughs> it is good to know that the vertical is the part where he's slow. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So you want to go make a difference. And you have to leave yourself enough room to... To go, to go across. Yeah. Get him. Yeah, yeah. I love how fearful he gets. Oh no, the yellow pellet! He gets really panicky. <laughs> ah! Runs away and it's then like his face is... It's like this cat when you bring a vacuum upstairs. It's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> hiss, hiss. <laughs> he, he, he really hates the vacuum. Yeah, but I think he learned yeah. that from Pixel. Like, I think he did, because he didn't seem he didn't to care, care before until he... Pixel would get really upset at the vacuum. Yeah, and then he, he learned more and more. Yeah. And now he's he fully just, fearful. He doesn't know why. He, yeah, I agree. He, I don't think he does know why. He just knows that I'm supposed to hiss at the <laughs> vacuum when it comes upstairs. Somebody told me to hiss once, and yeah. I still hiss. Yeah. Now you're going down. Yeah. Oh, Ow! Ah, the pink one, I tell ya. <sighs> ah. Terrible. Oh. oh my god. Oh, they're all in a row. I'm gonna get all my health back. Thank God. Just wait for that power pellet. Nope. Not gonna waste my time. Go get the score. Oh, now you're getting close to me. Cute well, not really kitty. that close, but... No, you're getting there. I do like games like this where you don't exa you don't exactly have lives. No, you just a have to keep maintaining your energy or your level. Yep. But it's kind of an all or nothing. Like once you're dead, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So. And you don't. There's no breaks. It's it almost, just keeps going. It's almost like you're risk assessing. Do I go for that pellet? Do I go for that pellet? Mm -hmm. Like you, you, you've got to be really careful. There's no extra lives. No. Get out of here. Yeah, I like that. Kittens. This cat is so happy. Someone fed him <laughs> treats and now he's, he's not so biting happy. me anymore. He's not chewing cords. Oh, oh no. Should have pressed the button. Oh, oh. Oh my god. I How know. long are you it's staying on the screen? Long. It's super long when you get to later oh. levels. Oh, I need help really badly. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Oh, I don't think you'll get them all. Just get some of them. I don't no. think you'll get the last no. guy. No, we're near. Nowhere near. But you get lots of points. I need some help. Oh, I need some help really badly. Oh, 350. Good job, good job. Jump, says Ricardo. Jump. <laughs> Jump. Ah, they're just chasing me and I can't get my health. Poor Pac-Man. Ah. Yeah, you don't ever want to get to the close to death point. I need some power pellets. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, just no. beam on you, dead. Yeah. Nathan Strum says, This reminds me of the Anything Goes vibe of a lot of early video games, where literally any constant becomes a game. Flaming Pac Man in space? Sure, why not? Just what? It, space, we'll yeah. put Pac Man in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, big monster, yeah. Uh, and go. Yeah. yeah. Put it into production. Yeah. The kids will put quarters in it. Yeah. But this one, they will, because it's super, super it is awesome. It's so much fun. So you read everything? Yes, I did. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah all the way there. down? Yeah. That part? No. Okay, well, you have to play another game then. For sure, Tanya's doing better. Yeah. Well, there you go. She can play another game then. All right. Um, so about the demo version, uh, what I notice is that most of the demos released take, just take the first stages and put them in a loop. 
In Space Pac-Man, I didn't want to do that because the player wouldn't have a good experience and couldn't pass the perception of a boring game, since the first stages are easy. So the demo version was carefully planned to give a balanced gameplay experience. The demo also added elements that in the full game, the player would only have access to in advanced stages, like the big ghost that appears suddenly. The demo is over right after the first boss, in the first run of Pac-Man's Fall. So, like I said, the demo gives you an idea of pretty much the full game, because you experience every part of it. Which is great. But you can't finish the game, because after you defeat the boss, or after the first boss, defeating it or not, um, it's over. Um, so, about the release of this game. Finally, a few days ago, we started selling Space Pac-Man and two other games that we already released before, Asteroids Attack and Pac-Zuma Trilogy. As the Brazilian market is very hot and be able to and uh, were able to serve everyone, we started sales and not able to serve everyone. We started sales only in Brazil and also because uh, all the graphic material is still in Portuguese. Uh, we are already preparing the English version for all games and we'll contact everyone who sent us an email asking for a copy in the last two years. <laughs> I would like to take the opportunity to apologize for the delay and that we've not forgotten anyone. Every single email is still there in my inbox. The pandemic got in the way a lot and we oh, put our yeah. feet on the brake, but now everything is normalized. Uh, anyone interested in our games, please send an email to atarigameselect at mm -hmm. gmail.com and we'll get back to you uh, soon and enjoy our page for updates, which is at www.gameselect.com.br. Thanks again for the support over the years. Not as good as the last round. Oh no? Couldn't even get the four in a row. I was like, oh, they were too far apart. Oh, you like that button, eh? It's a good button. <laughs> I should use it more. There's probably a number of situations where I could have jumped. But I think the jumping just makes you go in a random spot. It could be a very terrible spot. If you look at the gut at at your at Mr. Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. When you get that yellow power pellet, he puts on his super cool glasses. Does he? At that point, that he has on in the uh, the promo material. He's running. Oh! No. Oh, you got it! Just in time. See his super cool glasses? Mm -hmm. For a second. Get it, get him. Three times, oh, you get some big bonus for killing him. Nice. I'm guessing it's three times everything. Like any yeah. score you get, yeah. it's a three times, so. Now does the tractor beam always start in the middle of the screen? Because if so, oh, <laughs> how you do it. You figured it out. Okay. These sounds are awesome. Some of them sound like Atari Bowling when you get a strike. Oh, I haven't played Atari Bowling in so long. Which sound sounded like Atari Bowling? Five hundred. <sighs> it is stressful. <laughs> it is. It's a very intense game. There's a lot of danger on the screen. Ah, Whoa. the pink guy. Pink girl. No. Ah, press it. Oh, too late. No, it didn't hit. Oh, it you did hit me. dropped her three times. Damn. Ah, <gasps> it is in the middle. It is always in the middle. Just do not stay in the middle. Badness. One side or the other. Just cross over the middle. Oh, we almost got yeah, zapped there. Whoa, risky. Oh, risky again. Not good. Nope. Any anything that you gain from that is no. complete, ah! completely undone. Ah! So, Ricardo, if you're still around, when you jump... Um, yeah. Yes. Oh, caught you. It's okay. Oh, watch for the good... There you go. I need it. When you do a jump, does it... 
is it completely random on the screen so you could like jump like one pixel? Or does it tend to put you on the other side of the screen? Nice. All back. Mm-hmm, for now. Watch out, we're still in the same spot. Ugh. I, I knew they were close, there's not much yet. I think we're definitely going to need more practice to be able to beat the game. This is on the easy level. I'm not even playing yeah. the hard level. We did play the hard level last time, I believe, and just got our asses kicked. Mm -hmm. Just, you have to be an expert. Angry. Zorg? What is it? Zord. Zord. Zord, uh... Oh. It's funny, sometimes if you're at the bottom of the screen... Ooh, oh quick no, that time. too late. I, I'm trying to, like, mentally time it out, but... So Ricardo says the jump is not random. You jump the no. same place every time. Yeah, you go to the opposite oh. side of the screen. To a, a specific spot? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do. Oh, you got it. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, a little bit of time left. Okay, so that's handy to know. The jump takes you to, like, kind of the middle bottom on the right or left. Whoa, close. You need some of these. Yes, you do. We didn't run away that time. You probably couldn't. You could. It was to... very short. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. You need to. Uh, I need more. Need that yellow. I need more. <gasps> Oof. Oh. Oh my God. That was good. Now you can't press the button on the tractor beam, right? That's the only time you can't. Uh, no. If you get hit by the tractor beam. Oh, hit by it. Press it. Nice. Perfect use. Now you can get all your health back. In about well, two in seconds. There you go. You're good. Ah, some strategies coming into play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, Ricardo Pim. <laughs> yes. It's like, uh... Ricardo Pem says, you got it, Tanya. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, a little you bit of a chew me. on your, on the side of your body. Nom, 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 nom. I know. Very chewy. Ooh, risky. Yeah, the tractor beam starts at the middle and goes towards whatever side you're on. So mm -hmm. you're safe as long as you're not near the middle. Because you just go right to the side and, you know, it's not going to get there. I'm guessing the tractor beam goes further as you go along in the levels, maybe? So it forces you more and more over to the side. Oh, get it! Oh, oh no! come on! Oh, no! Come on! Worth the risk, but... Yeah. Not really. Well, not this time, because you didn't get it. But... Almost got it. It's just the lining up has to be so Oh, yeah, perfect. it's true. It's true. Like that. <laughs> nom nom. The animation in this game is so cute and so good. Like when he eats, nom nom nom. And the fire, the flickering <sighs> fire. Oh boy. Yeah, it's getting close to the end here. Yep. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, we went right into I him. know, I, I lost sight of where I was really uh, quickly. Let's see, 100,000. Oh, no. oh. Okay, I want to play one more. Okay, I'm going to run upstairs very quickly, but I'll be right back. And see if I can put to use these uh, tactics. Okay. Not as good as my last game. I had 74, I think it was 74. Yeah. Time? Yeah. Some of it's... I know, I know. There's some luck involved. There is. Yeah. Because you don't know where when things are going to come on Especially the screen. Especially the pink when... If the pellet is not the right spot, it can really screw you. Yeah. One more game, and then we will move on to the other games. Look right, look left. Look right, look left. Yum. 
When you start over, it seems like such a tame game. They're all like very... Very... Oh my god. Very laid back ghosts. They're doing their own thing. Not really bothering with you too much. They'll like sniff you for a bit. Oh, come on. Oh, yellow. There! Employed it right away. Worked really well. Now I'm gonna get the pink. See? That's awesome. That works so well. It's gonna help out a lot. Or more, at least. Yum. Yum. Very good. I used the uh, jump to good effect and got all the ghosts. Yum, yum, yum. Would you ever let me play? Um... Let you play? Well, no. Ah. I, I, uh... Ah, come on. Oh, it does go almost to the side of the screen. It does, but not completely. Never mind. I was um, thinking, oh, it doesn't go very far. An impossible mission after dark one night. I know it's C64. I don't know how we would make that work, but... Uh... We would do it with a bunch of... Um, we would do a C64 homebrew. Yeah? And then we do a, the impossible mission nice. after dark. Nice. Okay. Kind of thing. I really want to play that game again, because I think I could probably beat it on screen, so... Maybe, maybe not. Yeah? Maybe. Yeah. How long is the game? Very long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like a, an hour? Like, I, 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 the last time I played it, I remembered how to defeat the rooms. Like, I could remember, yeah. oh, jump here, here, here. It was kind of crazy, so I'd love to give it a, another go. Although the puzzles, I'm not so sure. <laughs> well, they're just puzzle pieces, right? They are, but you have to, and... you have to superimpose them on each other. And, yeah. you know, when I was 10, that was really easy. <laughs> I'm not sure right now oh, how easy on. that would be, but. Your brain is TRB Metroid team, hello. Who? First time chatter. Oh. TRB Metroid team. Welcome, Welcome. to Atari Video. Homebrew. Uh, Homebrew. Atari Homebrew on Atari 2600. Yes. New ah. games. Brand new games. That's right. Can you believe it? For a 45 year old video game system. That's right. Um, RC70 says Impossible Mission is ah. the only game I remember playing on the ah. C64. My friend had one, I did not. That was probably my favorite most played game on my C64 I had growing up. I did play it. I never... I think I maybe solved one puzzle. Really? Ever. Yeah. I think I beat it at least three or four times. Because there's multiple puzzles, right? There's... Uh, no, you... Yeah, they think there's four you have to yeah. solve, and you have to do it all within a certain amount of time. Um... Yeah. I think you have it's like an hour of real time. Seven hours. So you have seven, seven hours. hours of real time. Uh, it's not real time, but there's oh, seven okay. hours on the clock. It's a it's an enhanced time, and every time you die, you lose fifteen minutes. The time limit is brutal. Well, yeah, because every time you die, you lose fifteen minutes. So that surprisingly cuts a lot of time off. It, it takes you down um, quite a bit. I I could. I think I could complete the game without dying. I think that was one of my challenges, really? but not without the power-ups. So the the readjusting the elevators and the freezing. Oh, yes. Because there were certain rooms. I'm not sure if it's possible. I assume it is, but there's certain rooms I could not figure out how to do without freezing the. Um, oh come on! The robots right on top of me. Uh, actually, I didn't play commercial games too much on C64. I had too much fun programming it. Oh. Probably one of the few programming courses I ever took was BASIC on the C64. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, TRB Metroid Teams is also from Brazil, so oh, another Brazilian. Thank you. Oh, welcome, Brazilians. We Hola. Love. <laughs> Is that, is that uh, oh, Portuguese? That's the same. Is it? Okay. And maybe it's pronounced <laughs> differently, but they all say hola when yeah. they come in. We do have on our bucket list to hit South America at some point. So. Yes. 
I don't know how um, plausible it is to see all the countries well, you I, want to I see. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it is a huge continent. <laughs> Massive. But definitely, yeah, there's... I would love to. I'd love to take a big like chunk Brazil, of time Venezuela, and, and fly Columbia. around. Colombia, definitely. Ah. I am a fan of beaches, so. Yep. Yeah. And warm places. Perfect pronunciation. Thank you. Cool. So one word we've got. <laughs> Yay! We know one word in Portuguese yeah, and Spanish. Jib, you pretty much have to get three of them anyway. Three power pellets, right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter too much that you stop a little early, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Can I make it? Yep. Yay! But spelled Ola, not Hola. Ola. So it's oh, without the what? H. It's O-L-A. What? Yeah. Everybody puts Hola. Hola is, is Spanish. Ola is Portuguese, is what, what he's saying. So Yeah. Yeah. But you say Ola. Ola. It's the and, same but word. But you spell it differently? It's spelled differently. Why? That's very true, I think, for Portuguese. But why does know. everybody type Ola in with the H <laughs> in the chat then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are just I don't know. Typing Spanish. There, there, there's there's people of multiple ethnicities That's in right. the chats. Or maybe a hola is yeah. just a generic way of typing it so that multiple people can I don't know. Read I don't it. know. Get him, get him, get him good. I will. Twitch viewer geolocation reports for nope, Brazilians today. Lovely. Four? Oh. Yeah, excellent. I don't know if it works for everyone. Some people probably... Yeah, they don't put... Hide or VPN or... Yeah, yeah. that's quite possible. <gasps> Hola is Spanish. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. So it's spelled differently. Oh. Ooh, ooh, good dodging skill. Yum, yum. Oh, they're all... Okay. Uh, give me some of them. I I, I just want to throw out my appreciation for the sprite movement, the left, yeah, the right, eyes. the down. How the how the fire elongates when he goes down. I think it's just really. It looks really beautiful. So smartly done. Very very nicely done. Ah, uh, ah. <laughs> give me some yummies. No. Stay away from me. I guess it didn't touch me because I didn't go off the two times. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get into my belly. I need some energy. energy. Do it, do it, do it. So you, you, you realize the ones you eat make spots on that side of the screen. So it's good to start on one side and then... Get the ones on the right, then move to the center, then move to the left, so you you get more the density. Yep. yep. I mean, I'm just constantly eating them. So. No, but I mean, like the density decreases as you eat them from one side, to, from left to right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. That is my strategy that I <laughs> picked up as I was going through. Gotta eat as many as ah, I can. Stay away. We're at three times though. Oh no, you're gonna beat me. Oh no! No! How you're you, getting close! How do you know? I'm not there yet. 69, I'm at 74. Uh, uh. Oh my god. It's trapped. Get some more yummies. Oh no. Oh, he's okay. I thought you were running low there for a second. <gasps> he's blue. Blue. He's oh a blue guy. God. That's okay. He can be blue. Mm -hmm. He can be sad once in a while, big uh, Zord. Zord? You gotta write that. Oh. It's okay. You're doing okay. Eh. Eh. Doing okay. I don't have that much health. Trivia in Brazil. Casey Munchkin? What? Casey Munchkin is a Pac-Man-like game. Ah, it's called Come Come, something similar to Eat Eat. <laughs> eat Eat. Well, makes sense. Yeah, it's that does make stuff. sense. He does eat a lot. He's like an Atari. Uh, yep. You can just get, feed him power pellets uh, all day long. <laughs> I'm so low on energy. Oh, yo. oh, see, that gives you a bunch. Does it? Yes, yeah, so just 
Run away before you think he's going to turn back. There you go. Good job. Oh, they're all so angry now. Oh, no. Angry. Angry ghosty space ghost. I need, I need the power up. Actually, I'm not. Ah, uh, run away. It's just saying, it oh, I'm not too bad. Time. Oh, and you then... beat me. Oh, that's so Boo. sad. Boo. Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, no, no. Oh, I yeah, need you that died. really you bad. You would have died, though. I know. I would have. When was the last power pellet time I just got here? I see something. He's too close. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I know. I know. It's emergency <laughs> time. It's emergency time. Anyway, many Brazilian people of that time called Pac-Man Cum Cum from, from the Casey Munchkin, oh, I guess. Oh, because that's what yeah. they were familiar with. Uh, it's a mess here. <laughs> it's a mess here. Ah! No! I'm gonna die in one second! When is Power Pellet time? Oh no! 82-6! That's... you beat me! Uh, Very depressed now. Oh, That's so sad. <laughs> I feel really bad for you. <laughs> but you did real, we both did really well. We didn't beat it. It's uh, still a ways before to, to beat it. So, um, mm. as you can tell by how many times we played it. Super fun. Thank you, Ricardo Pam. Very fun. Very, very good. Us to play the full game of that. That is so much fun. Of Space Pac Man. Yeah. So, if you liked what you saw, it is available in Portuguese, um, but the English version is coming very, very soon. Nice. Uh, if you want the English manual, because the game yeah. is playable. Oh, yes, I, I would assume, yeah. It, I think it's the same. I don't yeah. know if this is... Because it did have English in the um, titles on the credits. So this might be the English version, version. Okay. of the binary. Nice. But either, okay. either way, obviously, you don't need Yeah, thank you, Ricardo Pim. Yes, thank a you so much. A lot of fun. So, so much fun. It's a great game. So the next game we're going to be playing is called Drop Ball Roulette. Okay. Uh, so is this Plinko? It's Plinko-ish. Plinko like. It's Plinko like. Sorry, what was it? Drop ball roulette. Drop ball roulette All by right. Alberto, known as Jab on the Atari Twenty Six uh, Atari Age forums. It's four K game. Um, he's also made uh, memory game, scissors, rock, paper, card mm. game, and words game. Uh, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Uh, Drop ball roulette is a game that tests your visual memory. Okay. Uh, in the game, there are five rows of bouncer, and each row can move the ball left or right. All the bouncer of the same row move the ball in the same direction. Mm. So the whatever row, they move it all left or all right. Okay. At the beginning, the ball will fall down, hitting the bouncer, and will go in one of the six cells in the bottom row. Uh, mm -hmm. From now, one or two rows of bouncer toggle will uh, will will toggle the previous direction. If the previous was left, the new one will be right and vice versa. So we didn't actually watch it fall. We'll have to reset it. Mm. So we have to watch it fall. Um, the target row that changes the bounce behavior will be yellow. So you see the second row? Mm -hmm. if, it bounce, if it bounced left, it's going to bounce right this time. Oh. And same with the bottom row. If it bounced right, it's going to bounce left this time. Okay. It just changed. And the purple ones won't change. So okay. if they bounced right, they're still going to bounce right. Uh, you must move the bet at the bottom. So you can move it left and right. Uh, 50 if change one row. 100 if change two rows. Then you can go up and down, too? No. Up and down? No. no. Um, to select the next drop ball cell. Remember? Where it's going to go based on the change. Okay. Yeah. So you yeah, have to watch what sense. it does, then watch what it's indicating, okay. and place your bet where it's supposed to go. Where you think it's going to go. Okay. To select the position, move the joystick left or right, then press fire and wait for the ball to reach the bottom. If your selected cell is the same of the ball, you win the bet, 50 or 100. Otherwise, you lose a bonus life. Okay. So I lose a life there. Yeah. So your lives are on the left. Right, right, left. Right, left. right, right, left, left. Right, 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 left, left. So now it's going to go right, right, left, left, right. So in the same spot then. There? Yeah. Right, left, right, left. Excellent. So now you have to figure it out. Right, left, 
right, left. It's going to go left, right, right, right. Nope, screwed that up. <laughs> <laughs> but you can work your way backwards. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, On yeah. any screen. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, every five balls, there's a golden ball. The bet of the golden ball can be heart. You can win a bonus life plus 250 or jackpot. One K icon, you can win a thousand points. Mm. Uh, on the right side of the score, there's a super jackpot map. When you find a correct cell, the corresponding map cell will oh, be cleared. Mm. When all six cells are cleared, you get a super a jackpot. Okay. One bonus life plus 2000 points. You get a bonus yeah. life. Uh, the bonus life will be added only if your total bonus life is a min minor of three, so less than three. Uh, hint, if you change only one row of bouncer, the next ball position can only be one cell left or right from the previous. So mm -hmm. if one of those mm -hmm. changes, it's only going to affect one bounce. Mm -hmm. If you change two rows of a bouncer, the next ball posi position can be two cells mm -hmm. left, two cells right, or the same position. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it is Plinko. Predictive Plinko. Yeah. I mean, I assume you can play the right, perfect... Right, right, left, left, left right. Right, right, right. Left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right. So that would then be left, right, right, left, right. So same I think spot. it's the same spot. Right, 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 left, right. Yeah. So right... Left, right, left. It's it's remembering them. That now becomes right, left, right. I don't I think it's the same spot again, but I've I'm already lost. Because <laughs> it's you have to memorize it each time. Each time it drops, you have to memorize what it did. Oh yeah, you can't work your way backwards. No. You have to memorize. Yeah. The drop, you just every drop you have go. to memorize. Do, 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 yeah. do. Okay. I think it's the same spot. Right, 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 left, left. Right, 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 left, left. So right, right. Left, right, right. Right, right, left. Right, left. Yeah, there. Right, left, left. Oh, oh no, how did I screw that up? Right, right, left, left, left. Right, right, left, left, left. So then that becomes right, Left. Left, left. Left, left. No. All the way. Oh, God. How did I get that wrong? <laughs> I'm drinking beer. That's the problem. Oh, no. <laughs> it's burning my burning my memory cells. Is there some way we can, like, do this in our hands? It's like left, right. Like. For sure. It's like one, two, three, four, five, right? There's five. There's only five things. So we go. You know what? The best way to think of it is just to look at the bottom row. Uh -huh. Right, right, left, left, right. Instead of I, I'm picturing it dropping, but it's actually you're just starting in the middle, and then it's it's which side you're going. Draw on. it on paper. That's, yeah. That becomes messy pretty quick. Um, just look at the stream video. Yeah, just go backwards <laughs> in time. Yeah. Rewind. Uh, okay. See, I'd forgotten. I don't know. Pick the same one and see what happens. Right, right left, 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 right. <laughs> right, right, left, left, right. So, right, 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 left, left, right, right. left, left, right. And then and all now, you have to do is change the one right, that changes. Right, right, left. Right, right, left, left, left. left. So it's, it's one more over to the left, right? Right, right, <laughs> left, left. Correct, correct. Right, Don't say right. right. That's a problem. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. The space falls. One more to the what? To the left, I think. The last one was right, right? Right. Yeah. And then... Left, left, left. So then it's right, right. Right, right, left, left, left. So now the last two are right instead of left. Yeah. So right, right. Left. Left. Right, right. 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 No. You went over too far. Oh. You went over one. Oh. You went over one too far. No, you went over three instead of two. No, it's lost. never more than two. 
It was, okay, right, right, left, right. What was it? Right, right, left, left, right. Okay. And now it's going left one. Left. So it's to the left to the one. Go over okay. left to where it left, is now. Right. You just, you know all you need to do. Why am I messing this up? The first one was right. Now it's left, so it's going to be one over to the left. That's all you need to know. So click there. Left, 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 left right, right. Right. Okay. Left, left, left. Left, left. Right, right. Now it's going to be left, left, so it's to the left. There you go. So it should be left, 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 left. We're all lefts left. now. You can do it on your left, hand. Left, left. So now you're going one to the right because that row was ah. left. Now that row is right. So it's going to be one over to the right. That's yeah. all you need to know is the row that's, ch which row is changing? Was it left or right? And you move it, your thing over. Yeah. So just watch what each oh, row okay. is. Left, 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 left right, right, left. Now that's going to the left one. No, wait, left, left, left. Now it's going to the right one. Sorry. Yeah. You Mess just need to up. remember the row. The first yeah. row is left. Now it's right. Best drinking game ever. <laughs> Cheers. It's going to be a lot of people going, no, left, right. <laughs> Who is screaming at the screen right now? Okay. Shut up, Tanya. <laughs> gonna, yeah. Who's screaming now? Don't tell Tanya, but this kind of looks like Hubert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, left, 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 left right, right, left. So it was right, now it's left, so go over yeah. left. Left, 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 right, right left. left. Oh, it glitched out. It started over. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> Something glitched out and started over. Oh God, I don't even know what it I was. I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, it was left, right. So now that's right. I don't know, try that. Uh, That was right, and that was right. So I think it's so going two to... two lefts. Yeah, let's try that. Right, 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 oh God. right, left, left. So that's now one left. Left. Right, right, right left, 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 left. Now it's two, two more lefts. to the left. Left, 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 left. left. Two, two rights. rights. Left, right, right left, 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 right. Left. So that's a right. That's now a left. What was the last one? I think it's in the same spot. Something glitched there too. Yeah, I can't remember now. <laughs> left, 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 left. So that's left. two rights. That's easy enough. And something glitched there. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. Right, 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 right left, 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 right, right. right. Cancel out. Yeah. Right, left, left. 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 Right, left, right. That's now a right. Left. So it's two rights now. Right, 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 one more to the left. Right, right, left, right, left. Right, right, left. So it cancels out. Right, right, left. Right, left. Two more right. No, other way. It was right, right, left. Oh. Right, so it's two to the left. Left, 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 left right, right. Last ones were two left. So those, were they? Yeah. I thought they canceled each other out. Okay. Two lefts would become two rights, yeah. Two lefts, three rights, two lefts. Right. right and the left. Cancel those out. Yeah. Left, 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 right. That becomes a right. I think we figured out the I game. think we've hacked it. <laughs> yeah, we've hacked the solution. So yeah. you just flip it. Oh, there. You just remember. We won. We cleared the board. Woo! There's a, there's a couple glitches going on. Yeah.
Um, Interesting. Just try to memorize if it was left or right for each row, and, and what it flips, you just go to left, over. to right, yeah. or, yeah. But a very interesting yeah. game. Yeah, very simple. Yeah, uh, there's like some uh, visual glitches happening there, so um, Jab might want to look into that. It's still a work mm -hmm. in progress, mm -hmm. so there's going to be some things going on. But very interesting. These are just some small games that I ran across mm -hmm. that I wanted to include because I knew we'd be playing Land Space Pac-Man for a while. Yeah. TRB Metroid Team Yay, Photos! Thank you for following! We convinced them! <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for enjoying the show. Yes. Okay, on to the next game! Which is Lyra the Ten Rack by Zippy Red Plumber. So pick up the joystick and mm. let's load it up. Now I particularly like the movement in this game. Load it up. Uh, first posted August 21st, 2021. This build is from March 8th, 2022. Lyra? Yeah, Lyra the Ten Rack. I had too much beer to repeat myself. I, Three I, times. I heard Zippa for in, Zippa. in my head. I'm like, Zippa? What was that? What did he say? Uh, this is an 8K game. Mm -hmm. uh, you can download this. Oh, actually, before we go to this, mm -hmm. I wanted to show you what a 10 rack is. Have you ever heard of a 10 I've rack? I've heard the term, but I'm, I'm not sure what, what that's in reference to. Um, I didn't know what a 10 rack was. Um, so let's take a look at some pictures of 10 racks. Uh, ba, 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 there is my link. Now uh, here is some ten racks. Look at those fluffies. That's a lowland streak ten rack. Oh. That's a common ten rack. Oh. There's a, a stuffed They look rack. kind of like hedgehogs, but a, a different shape, you know? But they're yeah. very hedgehog-like. The ouch mouse. Terrifyingly cute. You don't want to touch a ten rack, apparently. I know, but they, they kind of look like hedgehogs, don't they? they oh, lesser do. hedgehog ten rack. Yeah, there yep. you go. They look like a bumblebee. That, that is one. pretty. Like, like that guy has style. Oh, that yellow yeah. and black stripe. Look at the outfit they have on. They, they, they are pretty. Yeah, Animal I'm, I'm of impressed. The week. Yes, that's terrifyingly cute. Yes, they are. Look at that. Where tenrec. are they from? What? Uh, a tenrec is a species of mammal within an Afrotherian family. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, endemic to Madagascar. Oh. Oh, Ten wrecks are widely diverse as a result of convergent evolution, some resembling hedgehogs, shrews, opossums, rats, or mice. They occupy aquatic, arboreal, terrestrial, and fossorial environments. Fossorial? What's, what's a fossorial? Well, uh, ancient environments, I would assume. Some of the species, including the greater hedgehog tenrec, can be found in the Madagascar dry deciduous forests. Wow. However, the spe speciation rate in this group has been higher in humid forests. Mm. All tenracks are believed to descend from a common ancestor that lived 29 to 37 million years ago after rafting over from Africa. Mm. <laughs> Can you imagine those little things on a raft? Just like paddling a little bit. <laughs> the split from their closest relative, um, African otter shrews, is estimated to occur about 47 to 53 million years ago. Wow. So they are old. Well, they're not old, but they're split. Nice. Um, so let's get back to the game after we know what uh, a ten rack is. Um, and this one's called Lyra. So go for it. Uh, you jump around and you avoid the bullets and you get everything else. So you get the blue thing, and you get the red thing, and you have some lives, and before it gets down to the lives, you have like that big teal bar at the bottom. Mm. Mm. So you have a lot of lives in this game. Uh, it gives you a lot of latitude. I feel there's a, a bit of a Sonic vibe going on. Oh, it's pretty cool. Oh, 100%. But it's a, it's a ten rack. It's a ten rack, not a hedgehog. Nothing to do with hedgehogs. <sighs> Just a distant, distant cousin of a hedgehog. Oh gosh, I got hit again. So I don't think the mechanics of the game are quite worked out. Like, 100% like, kind of it's thing? It's like the basics are there. I love it. But, uh, but the, I love it. It may not look no, like a lot of fun, but, in the air. but the jumping is super fun. It is super fun. I love the feel of it. 
That's why I wanted to include it because it's just the movement is so much fun because you can direct, direct yourself in the air. Yes. He's very bouncy He's feeling. very bouncy. I'm really enjoying this. And the Even common ancestor's name was Bob Nathan Strum says. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, Zippy Red Plumber said, After two years of work, several restarts, and creative changes, I present you Lyra the Tenrec. Oh. So far, it's a little mini game. You just run around and jump and fire magic notes. So the first one was you are firing things. Um, but this one, I don't think up or down fires anything. No. No. He's, he's removed the firing portion of it. So it's just jumping around now. You're just going for score. Ah, I got and hit Then on again. March 8th... Um, Is, are, am I dying at all? Uh, you have to get hit a lot. Oh, okay. It's, it's not really a... It's a game because you can get score, but it's very hard to die. Yeah. It's more I, just I, a demo. I've been hit by the purple bullet and not lost any lives. So try and get hit by the purple bullet a lot. And I think you will eventually get down in score. Or in... Can't even hit. Should be hit the purple bullet. That should be the the, <laughs> the purple bullet. Oh, now it's going down. Tiny touch. Uh, and, and March eighth, in celebration for International Women's Day, Lyra is a girl after all. <laughs> Here's the latest work in progress build: avoid the ball, collect the squares, and hit the blue eye bots for points. So you have to hit the blue. I guess it's the same as just touching the blue. So, uh, Zippy, as in Zippy the Porcupine? No, I don't... Lyra the Tenrec. <laughs> Lyra Nothing the Nothing to do with hedgehogs yet again. But, um... Well, it is I... going down-ish. Yeah, it's, it's very it, It's very hard to, to die in this yeah. game. So it's just a, it's a demo of what could be, so... It's pretty cool. I, the movement is great. I want it as a platformer. I, I want yes. Lyra to jump onto platforms like this. It so would there be could be another fun, platform fun, fun. up top, maybe. You no, know, scrolling left to right. Oh, go, that's a go whole. Go from screen to screen. Oh. Catch, catch a few things. Go to the next. Oh screen. yeah, I think you that could. Would be pretty fun. Yeah, clear the screen out. Clear the screen. It needs a much more deadly enemy, for sure. Yes. What would um, need a ten wreck? I wonder. I don't know. You could have things go along the bottom of the screen as well. Mm-hmm. Um, because the two sprites are the. Are, are the bullseye and you. So there's nothing along the bottom. Mm. And I'm, I'm guessing the purple is a uh, ball because it's the same as a play field. Um, so yeah, I once in a while something crawls along the bottom or maybe goes along the top, something like that. Uh, an 11 wreck. Uh, okay. <laughs> so that's that's really all there is to this. It's very cool. Yeah. So yeah. it's just a fun little... Uh, it, it the movement is really fun. The and jumping is really yeah, fun. Yeah, so I wanted to encourage yeah. the developer to continue on with, yeah. with that character and that feel of movement. Yeah. Got to get the controls right. Too many homebrew work in progress tend to miss that. And that's yeah. why I focused on this, because the control is Feels awesome. really, really good. Feels so good jumping yeah. around. It's like, oh, yeah, this is, this is a nice, bouncing kind of character. Yeah. yeah. So the next game is Tank Maze. By mm -hmm. Bob Montgomery, known as V-Dub Bobby, in the... I hope this works, because I haven't actually tested this. Mm. It should work. Yeah. It's got 271 lines. Okay. But as long as they don't bounce around, it should be fine. And it doesn't, okay. as far as I know. Okay. Um, so this build is from March 24th, 2022. And he first started working on this January 23rd, 2012. Ten. Ten years ago. Okay. <laughs> Long term. You made Blip Football, if you remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we played Blip Football. I think so, Elevator's yeah. a Miss, which we played. Uh, Go Fish, uh, Ram Racer, Ram Vaders, Ram Defender. I think we did a Ram Day. Mm -hmm. uh, Reindeer Rescue, which we played. Mm -hmm. Squish em, which we played. Uh, Wumpus Hunt 2600, which we played on the show. And now Tank Maze. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I wanted to show the arcade because this is actually a port oh, of really? a game called Tank Battalion. Oh, power oh. pellet time! Waka waka waka, it's it says. treat time. It's treat time for cats. Oh, oh look now. at him. You look at him. This time. Very oh, demanding. Yeah. Very demanding cat. Yeah. You, uh, you want? RC70, thank you so much. The kitten. He appreciates you. it much like. Ding. Oh, two oh. dings. He knows what's coming. Gosh, you need more Somebody treats. on my Facebook feed. 
Yeah. They trained their cat oh. to ding the bell as well. Oh, no. And they're like, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. A crazy yeah. dinger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super dingy cat. Oh, oh, sorry. Cat cam. Oh. It's way off camera. That's okay. No, it's all good. Yes, sir? I miss it. Had Pac-Man 4K and 8K uh, some problems like this. Namco doesn't come after Pac-Man. Uh, no, um, as far as I know. I mean, 4K and 8K haven't been released on cart? Or did 4K did? 8K hasn't. People are really anticipatory about the uh, 8K one. It's really cool. Always having a little trouble. Stuck in his tooth. Yeah. Ring the bell, cat. More? More for you? Good kitty. Good kitty. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, video of Tank Battalion. So, it's the arcade version. Are you gonna hit the bell, buddy? You can do it. Hit the bell. He's looking at me like, well, you control it. No, you have to hit the bell. Let's go to the beginning of it. Push start, bonus tank, blah, blah, blah. So Tank Battalion is a multi-directional shooter arcade. Oh, I might be a bit loud. There you go. Good. Kid. That was released in Namco in 1980. The only direct home conversion is from the MSX and a 1985 similar game released Battle City for the Family Computer. Famicom. Uh, tank Battalion received a sequel called Tank Force for Arcades in 91. The player controlling a tank must destroy 20 enemy tanks in each round, which enter the play field from the top of the screen. Your uh, chat has disappeared somehow. From the screen. That's weird. It's like completely gone. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. It does that sometimes. I don't know why it does that. As soon as somebody talks again, it'll, it'll come up. You think so? No, I know It's so. just reset? Okay. It just... I don't know why. It just yeah. resets randomly. That's... Yeah. There we go. Yep. See. Test. Thank you, um, RC70. <laughs> the enemy of tanks attempt to destroy the player's base, represented uh, on the map as an eagle at the bottom. Mm -hmm as well as the player's tank itself. But the game ends if the player's base is destroyed or he runs out of lives. Okay. So we got it. Oh, 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 they're going after your... Oh, then made an opening. Okay. So we got a good Thank idea you. of that. Good kitty. Nom, nom, nom. Nommy cats. <laughs> He's like, is there more? More, please? More? Oh, because I switched... Oh, I switched to something that doesn't have the chat. I actually accidentally... Oh, that's what resets it. I switched it. to full screen kitten cam. Oh. Like without us. They probably couldn't oh, even hear us funny. for a second. Oh, that's funny. That's weird. Oh, sorry about anyway, that. Anyway, sorry. That's <laughs> why. It's my fault. Um, okay, so let's dive into the game. No, we could hear you. Okay. Oh, okay, good. All right. That's good. Didn't mute us. So... Go for the game. Play. Please. Oh, do I have to reset? I may have to reset. Yep. So there's your base, and you are destroying oh. your base. Oh, thank you. I, I was... I was... <laughs> Didn't listen to the instructions. Apparently not. Uh, February 13th, he wrote, picked, up, picked this up again after so, so long. Frame rate is really sloppy. Uh, using the Git version control, uh, publish the latest source will always be at uh, vdub dash bobby uh, forward slash tank maze at GitHub. Aiming for a very loose port of tank battalion. Control the player tank with the joystick, press reset to start so it's not couch compliant yet, and cycle through the mazes. Updates since I last posted anything 10 years ago. <laughs> Enemy tank movements routine are working, I think. Enemy tanks appear one at a time. Not anymore. Oh, actually, they do appear one at a time, I think, still. So. Uh, you can shoot enemy tanks and they will disappear. So yesterday when I posted that we're going to play this game, he said, Cool, hope you have fun. And he, and he actually posted an update to the game. So we're playing the very latest version. Uh, biggest changes to the player-controlled tank can only change directions at an intersection. Uh, more like a tile. <gasps> oh, oh, he got, got me. Uh, like the enemy tanks. Uh, fix tank movement jitter when moving straight through an intersection, though this reintroduces a bug where the enemy tank sometimes reverse direction. Oh, you cleared it out. Mm. Next maze. So you got 20. Oh, kitten, you got fed. 
Uh, I was a uh, so strictly treats tonight. No kitty upper choice. No, it makes too much mess. It like well, makes a mess. Oh, I was aware of the option, but didn't ask because the power pellets fit the theme. Yeah. The yeah, power it pellet. did. But yeah, it's too much of a mess. We're not going to do that anymore unless we like get a big plate or maybe a bowl might contain it because he tends to flip it over. He and does. Rub all over it. Might try a bowl. A bowl of catnip. Uh, made small adjustments to the player and enemy tanks. Bunch of data rearranging to make the raw more compact. Replace the Modulo 7 looping code with faster, constant, non cycle a constant cycle, non-looping routine <gasps> using same fancy divide by seven routine I mentioned above. Time for kitty rehab. Yes. Rolling in it is the best part. <laughs> it he is. I think you should show him rolling in it. He'll probably roll anyway. Well, there's plenty of time still because we're doing an after dark right after this. True, true. Maybe we'll, we'll save it for the, for the after dark. Yeah. The high cat will will save for the after. Yeah, so the kitties can get high score too. Oh, <laughs> terrible! Yeah, you are terrible. Oh, oh miss. Oh no. Yeah. So does it show your lives anywhere? It has a two, and I know that's maze two. Maybe it's the bar. Oh God! <laughs> it didn't go away, so maybe it's infinite lives right now. Mm. Or maybe it's just not displayed yet on the screen. They do destroy each other. I know, which is great. And it does take down the number of tanks you have to take. Yeah. Okay, maze three. Do you want to do the next maze? I find it rather stressful. Str I have to say. Really? A little hand back. We do have a hand back. Yeah. Lives are on the lower right, says the D-Train. Hi, the D-Train. Uh, those are the number of tanks you have to take out. Yeah. This game reminds me a bit of Armor Attack. Don't mm. know that game. I haven't played enough Armor Attack. No. So I kind of figured out <laughs> a good way to survive really oh, well. Are, oh, tanks, yeah. On the lower right, gotcha. Is you just stay in a spot. You just, yeah, you, you pick them off. And you just wait for them to come to you. Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, as long as you're, you're what do you call that? Your your spot, your base is protected from walls. Oh, it even has auto fire, so I just have to <laughs> switch Lazy. left and right. Lazy. Lazy. Oh, you got to make your way up there. Mm -hmm. And then you shoot out the whole level so you can shoot all the way left and right. Good point. And then you just hold down the Some of them button. move really faster Ooh, actually, than others. Actually, yeah. I can even simplify this even more. Maybe not on this <gasps> Not on this oh, one. Oh, it doesn't kill you. But okay, on one where it's not open like this. And he's going, oh, he's got it. He's got it. You're silly. Oh my god. What? You're not paying attention. No, I was trying some strategy. It's a good thing he's not very smart. No, they're pretty dumb right now. Should I make right jokes now. about the Russian army right now? I don't no. know. Too soon. Too soon. Uh, <laughs> Still active, so. Yeah, yeah that's, good. that's a good point. Eight more to go. <sighs> Two current. I know, I know, RC7, yeah. I shouldn't even have gone there. <laughs> um, hey, Kenny, come up here. Come up here. So I don't know what they could do, what he could do to improve, like, to not have this happen. Um, so we get Hermes fair game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, kitty. Oh, oh, oh. No. Psst, 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 psst. Get out of there. Psst, psst, psst. He's actively looking. No, he's not. At, he's no, fine. No, he's looking at he's, it. He's fine. Calm down. Pay attention <laughs> to the game. You know he does it on purpose. <laughs> well, he also likes it, but he, he, he does it on purpose. He wants your attention. <laughs> he totally wants your attention. So I... Kind of hack the game, <laughs> in a way. I okay. I I as per usual. Yeah. Love the high score font. 
Yep. Awesome high school Love the look of that. And the look of the maze as um, well. The tanks look great too. I mean, the fact that they've got them in different hues of blue and green. Oh, the, oh. The way actually he's constructed the tanks, I'll tell you how he's They're done it. They're really nice. They look really good. Each of the tanks uses a different um, uh, item to display it. Like it uses either the um, ball or missile or... Yeah, the ball and missile as the background for the tank. So they have a solid, I think it's a solid background. So one uses the missile, one uses the other missile, one uses the ball. And um, what am I missing? Uh, something else. And then they flicker between the two player icons. Yeah. And so it has a really interesting look to all the tanks. So it flickers the tread mm. on each of the tanks at a constant great. 30 hertz. It's, it looks really good. Um, S. Ramirez says the tank sprite kind of reminds me of the tank in Strategy X. Mm, don't know that one. Uh, no, and uh, Phaser Cat Game says that score font is from another game, Something in Magic, I think. Yeah, mm. I'm yeah. sure. I, I've seen it before. I do enjoy it. I, I do like that kind of futuristic uh, yes. font. Uh, I think um, Robotron or whatever the Champ Games version of that is. Robot uh, War. Robot War has the same font as well. Thick digits. <laughs> yeah, they are. Heavy thick. bottom digits. Heavy bottom digits. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll play this a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's a very good... Oh my god, he's gonna... I don't know if that's programmed in yet. Again, not very smart. No, he's just like, meh. Oh, he got me! Yeah, he oh, did. First death. Let's see if they've actually, it's actually been programmed in. Where they can destroy my base. Don't destroy me. Mm. So I'll help them out. I don't think it is yet. Just open the area around it. Yeah. No, he, he's... They should be going straight for it. <laughs> a little bit mindless, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No! Oh, changed his oh. mind. Come on over here. Join me. <laughs> Join yeah, me. Yeah, maybe you can't lose. They're afraid of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they even shot it there. So that's not it. Yeah, they have to run into it, I'm come sure. On. But somehow they're... Come on, they're come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Run Maybe. Into it. Touch it. Touch it. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Oh, no. no. Okay, so that's not programmed in it yet. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. That seems like it would be a very simple thing to do because mm. it's always in the same spot. It's mm -hmm. just like a if tank is in spot yeah. or shoots spot, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just not programmed yet. So, uh, good start. Uh, Bob used this font before his port of Squishum. So he's been using it for mm. a while. So uh, I just wanted to, you know, highlight some of the work in progress games. Um, so that's one of them. And I think there's another like two or three more mm -hmm. that I want to tack on to another day. Okay, that are, cool. That are in progress as well. Kind of in the same realm of finished. Nice. Uh, uh, level of finished. So thank you for watching. But we're not done yet. We're going to go to After Dark. Okay. We have a 10 minute break. Sounds you know? good. Yeah. 10, 10 minute minutes. break. Little, little, yeah. Um, and then we're going to come back and try our hand at Aardvark. Yay. There's a big roster of scores. That okay. See where we place. Not going to be in first place. Some good scores there. Yeah. And also, we're going to be playing Stratavox 2600 as well. Okay. You may not have played that because you don't are not I familiar have. with that. I don't know Stratavox. Robot I know Aardvark. City, yes, uses a similar score find. It's very mm. robotic. Bring on <laughs> the stone kitty. Woo! The stone, stone yeah. We're going to bring the stone cat on. Yeah, yeah. We'll get him a little get dish, but he will yes. roll. He will will roll around a plate. regardless. Yeah. Well, a bowl? What do you think is better? Well, the little dishes are pretty good. Oh, he but tips he, those yeah, immediately. That's true. Like right away. We'll we just could, give him a little bit. We could bit, put a little pad like a down tiny... for him to roll on so he'll be less uh, messy. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We'll bring yeah. his cat pad down. He has a little scratch pad. He'll oh. like that. We'll bring that down. That's a good idea. He'll be a little less messy, a little bit less messy that way. Um, that sounds like a plan. Yeah. So 
Thank you for joining yeah. us. Don't go away, though. Wonderful roster of games today. Yeah. Vacuum it up, lazy <laughs> I just we vacuumed. Do, we, we, do la- we do do that, too. But we are lazy as well. Yeah, we are. Uh, <laughs> Oh, and I'll check out your video, Vitoka. Yes. Um, so thanks for joining us, but don't go away. Uh, TRB Metroid Team, thank, thank you, you for, for joining. Yeah. Vitoka, RC70, S. Ramirez, Nathan Strom, Phaser Cat Games, D Train, Dan of EC. Um, um, a cardboard box, Carl G, Spartan581, Old Style, Ricardo Pim, thank you for letting yes. us play your awesome, awesome game. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, step. Yeah, thank you for the encouragement. <laughs> Didn't quite make 100,000, though. Oh, we're, we're getting there. A couple, <laughs> couple more games, maybe. Dryer Lint. Oh, oh that's a name I haven't nice. seen in a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. Canadian Tenor, for all the enthusiasm. <laughs> Arena Foot. Ground Trooper. Uh, Carl G in there. Lots of people today. Man 2D. Yes, thank lots of Thank you for names. joining us on a Friday evening. Yes. Oh, thank you, Dan. And also, you know, come Famous. join us. Play along with us. Post your scores for Aardvark and uh, yes. Stratavox. Yes. That's what... what uh, 2,600. What, but what's the name of the competition? It is the... Uh, oh, oh, clicked on the wrong one, of course. <laughs> High Score Club Season 12. Okay. So I will post the link to that. Okay. Um, actually, I'll post it right now so you guys can check it out in the break, mm-hmm. uh, the short break, and uh, you can get all yes, ready for the competition with, uh, you can play along with us. Yes. Um, so here it is. Yeah, high score competition. It's going on for another two days, I think. Yeah. So there's all the details. Check it out. And we'll be back in 10 minutes. And that's what the two games are, right? From the yeah. high score competition? Well, there's competition. three, but I don't think we'll play Raptor again. We gave it a pretty good shot Okay. Last so time. the other two. The other two. And uh, play along with us and post your scores in the yep. chat as we play. Get yep. another drink. Download Stella. It's Friday night. You deserve it. You Have totally a beer. You deserve it. You made it through the five days of the week. My score is going to be horrible because I'll probably go for a third, third drink and then uh, uh, it'll just tank. But that's fine. It's yeah. Friday night. Yeah. It's been a rough week, too. <laughs> oh, well, it's over. Yes. It's over now. It is over now. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go on a very <laughs> short break. I'll bring the music back so you can guys can groove out to it for a couple minutes. I'll yeah. do the countdown thing as well so you know when we're coming back. So we'll be back very shortly. Don't go away. And if you're watching on YouTube, just click over to the next video. Yeah. Um, it'll be posted separately. So uh, see you in 10, ten minutes. minutes. Bye-bye.